My name is Austin Crunch and welcome back to Subnautica Experimental. Now this is going to be a sub-series, if you'll pardon the pun, called Sub-City. Now this was widely, widely requested by you guys after I made that Sub-City idea video. And you seem to have really, really enjoyed the ideas. So that's what we're going to do. I've started with the headquarters here. I just kind of threw it together. Um, I just kind of started and then kept going. Um... A few of you have requested for me to build plants in your buildings, but for this episode I'm not going to because at the moment there's a big gl uh, big glitch with the plants where um, they don't actually work and the kind of, it flashes black and it's really annoying for the eyes. So I'm going to leave that for the moment, but hopefully in a later episode I can update your building if you want that. Um, yep, these water ex uh, these water machine things they extract water no um they work and filtration is complete so we can now take off them and there you go and it'll start again so we now have water um how much water does that give us nothing at the moment but you know that's fine it does it actually come out as the proper thing you storage can that's fine okay so we just have the reception you can get this like a, a vending machine kind of thing uh, and then it says, welcome to Sub City, and you have this really nice view. I made the moon pool there because surprisingly it actually works. It lets you, um, it like sucks up your sea moth, it's great. So you can actually have it above land. So here we go into Sub City. Didn't spend much on this bit, just kind of put it there. And then you can exit here. Um, and I'm gonna do three builds this episode. And I'm going to try and do them in the order that people commented, um, but I'm also going to try and get them all complicated builds out of the way first, apart from John Bamford's, because that one's probably going to need an entire episode from the amount of stuff that he has requested. <laughs> Not a bad thing, but it will take a long time. Maybe multiple episodes, I have no idea. But this episode we're going to be doing Team and New Knit Eldritch, Axot Forsberg and Max Foos builds. Um, so... Yeah, sorry if you're not one of them, but we're just going to start with them because they're the first three people that commented out of my memory. Um, and I just want to get the complicated ones out of the way. So the first people to leave the comments on this this video of what they want to be built, then they will be built in the next videos. So we're going to start with Team and Unit Eldridge. Now he requested for two rooms on top of each other with an aquarium with hoverfish on the top floor with seats and planet. Pots. Now I've put planet because I don't know how to spell, but you're not going to be able to fit a whole entire planet in a pot unless it's a gigantic pot. And obviously we can't use the plants in this build, so I'm going to have to ignore the plants. I have actually just recorded this a few minutes ago, but then I realised that it wasn't recording my voice. So we're going to start again. Uh, we're just going to put it here because this is where it was before. Um, this may break it even more though because it seems to be wanting to build it into the ground for some reason. Oh well, you have a nice kind of view, I guess. <laughs> um, so you can have your hatch there. Um, I'll just terraform this out of the way for you so it's a bit easier for you to access your actual home. That might be useful. Um, then he wanted another on top. Another room on top, which is easy to do because of this conveniently placed mound with a nice mushroom flower thing on top. There. Oh no, it fell. Oh, we lost the mushroom. Ah oh, well, okay. So. He didn't request for glass or anything, but I'm just going to give him all glass because glass is the best object in this game because the windows are incredibly huge. Okay, yeah, so he didn't request for glass on the top floor either, but I figured that that's probably the best material because it gives you the best view because you can actually see outside them. And, the, and the, as I said, the windows are great in this game. So, from this position that I've given you, uh, it's quite a nice position actually because you get a view of the reception, you can see the aurora, you can see the wide blue ocean with the nice kind of ground, you can see the moon pool so it's easy access, and then the forest which looks really nice so you have a, a really good all round view to be honest. Uh, then you wanted an aquarium so we'll put an aquarium in this room, um, so we'll put an aquarium there, okay and you wanted all hoverfish. Um, yeah, they look cool. So now you have your own little um, breeding group for lots of lots of them. Um, then you wanted seats and plant pots. So can't do the plant pots at the moment. So we're just going to give you some seats so you can relax whilst looking at the forest and stuff. There you go. That's quite nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a good spot for you. Yeah, I keep pressing escape to get up. So tell me what you think of that. It's kind of just basic at the moment. I don't know if you want anything downstairs, so I'll just give you... Um, I'll give you a workbench, because... Yeah, I'll give you a workbench. Um, give you a fabricator as well. Okay, and put it in. There you go, you have a portrait of your house in your house. That's kind of nice, I like that. There you go then. So that's Team Anunit Eldritch's base complete. Tell me what you think of it, guy. Guy? Wow, my grammar is great at the moment. Um, tell me what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you want me to change anything? I think it's kind of cool. Nice placement as well. Um, you didn't request a place, so I just tried to choose the best place I could. And you are the first build in our sub city, which isn't really a sub city because it's um, not underground, but it is a subscriber city, so it kind of is still. So yeah, the next build we're going to do is for a guy called Axot Forsberg, and he wants in the middle hole, so he has requested a specific place. Oh, we forgot to build a sign, didn't we? That was, that was dumb of me, I was literally just talking about that. You have a nice little um, gravel path as well. Uh, so we'll put a sign. With your name on it. So, Team Anunit Eldritch. There you go. There's your sign. So, this is now your house. This is your crib. You can relax and stuff. It's kind of nice. I like it. It's nice and spacious for you. You could raise a family in there if you wanted to. Don't know why you'd want to. I mean, especially not on this island. It's doesn't seem like the safest place. I mean, it is floating and relying on giant creatures underneath it to keep it afloat, so I wouldn't really trust them. Um, here we are. Here's the big hole in the middle. <laughs> they normally bite us here, I think. Um, or they might have got rid of them, I can't remember. Right, okay, so this is where you want your base. So, you want a middle hole, one room fully glassed, a part sticking downwards in a cross shape, all glass, decorate however I want it, so I can decorate whatever I would think looks in it. So you can have a view of the bioluminescence down there, which would be pretty cool. Why did I replace the builder with the power glide when we are building things? <sighs> okay, um, so we need to get a room going. Uh, so we need to get some kind of corridor first, probably, would be a good idea. That looks about the middle. Okay, so we'll build your room. And then you wanted a a thing that comes underneath it, but for some reason you can't put vertical connectors on, under these rooms, which is really annoying. You used to be able to, but at the moment you can't, so I'm going to have to put a... Uh, we could put one off here, I guess. Um, vertical connector. There you go. Okay, so we'll have the corridor to connect to the bottom of this, and have all windows just so it is as clear as it can be. And then he wanted an X uh, where it's just completely glass. I think this is what you wanted. I'll read I'll read what you wanted in your words in a second. Ooh. I'll put a hatch underneath here so we can just get in quickly for ease of access. Welcome aboard Captain. Put a ladder there. I think this is what you wanted. It's kind of a pain because of that safe shallows reflection, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I think that's what you wanted. You wanted a part sticking down within a cross shape, all glass. And you have a, vi a view of the bioluminescence. Tell me what you think. If you want me to change anything, then I will. Uh, but I think that looks pretty cool. Um, but obviously you want me to decorate your room, so I'm, yeah, you said all glass. So. Um, but I, you said I can customise it however I wanted to, so I'll just give you a couple of benches. Um, I'll customise it with my favourite fish in the game um, that you can put in them. My favourite fish in the whole game is the rabbit ray, but, um, but of the ones that you can put in aquariums is the oculus, because it's the cutest thing in the world. And it's like, it looks like the high peeper the uncle of the peeper. The drug addict uncle of the peeper. Um, 
give you a small locker here. There you go, axle. Um, I think that should be all right. I'll give you a fabricator there. I think that should be it. So we'll put a signpost on your on your build. So we'll put it here. Axot Forsberg. There you go. There's your house, buddy. Tell me what you think of it. Um, if you like it, then tell me. If you don't like it, then tell me. If you have any improvements that I could make, then I will probably do an improvements video on any of them. But this is your X at the bottom that you requested. Tell me what you think of it. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, we'll move on to the final build for today's episode then. Uh, this will probably be a weekly thing, hopefully. Um, right, Max Foos is the next one. This is a big build, so we're going to need to go away from here. Um, we need to go to the top left hill, if possible. Now, I'm guessing that he means the hill that's closest to the Aurora, so I don't know how we're going to get up there. We're going to have to do a bit of hiking. Um, oh, bit of a jump here. Oy, God, this is like dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Um, is that the left mountain? I imagine so. Oh, I didn't put any pictures in it. You didn't want any, did you? That's right. That looks really cool. Your base looks like a Bond villain base. Right, I think you might need to have it here. Is that okay? I mean, it's not very far up, but when you type in Biome Islands, you don't fall anymore. You don't free fall. Um, so this is pretty much as high as we can get, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, we could terraform up, but that glitch is quite often you fall through the map, and I don't want to do that. So we'll probably build you here, if that's right. So you want pictures in the middle of the room, uh, upper room with observatory facing Aurora, all made of glass, platform with solar panels, da-da-da-da. Okay. So we'll build you, build you there. Uh, we won't be able to have any more houses up here, probably, um, unless you want to be directly con connected to him, uh, because there's no real other way back up here. Uh, there's no other way to get past him, apart from go through him, and we don't want to be trespassing on his land. No! No! Oh, God's sake. This is the danger of building on the edge of a cliff. Oh, wow. We've actually jumped on top. Wow. That went surprisingly well. I expected that to go awfully. Okay. Well, we're up here now. Great. Okay. So you want it to be all glass, which is fine. So you want pictures in the centre room. I don't know what the pictures will be of. Um... So we'll just take a picture of that. That's like a nice picture. Uh, we'll take a picture frame. Put you in there. We'll give you two pictures. Be a bit generous. It looks a bit hazy because it's through a window. Uh, so it will be hazy. Oh, for God's sake, no. Oh, thank God. I thought it bounced me back down then. That's the annoying thing because it, it jumps from where you jump rather than just jumping upwards, so if you jump on the wrong bit, you do die. Um, I know your base isn't finished yet, but we'll just take a picture of it for now and use that as our picture for the other. We'll put both pictures on this side because there's nothing really to look at this side. There you go. Uh, so we need a ladder going up now so that you can actually access your upstairs compartment. So we'll put that there. You have a really nice view of the Aurora right there. You can actually see the life pod from all the way out here. That's a really sick view. Nice. Uh, so middle... Uh, upper room with observatory facing Aurora. Now I hope that you can build observatories from in here. Oh god. Please tell me you can. I thought you could. Apparently not. Oh god. Then we can build a hatch there, which means that we can walk across. Because you can build hatches on diagonal. This is a dangerous job. Who Oh god's sake. <laughs> right. 
Right, okay. So, observatory. Please. Okay, you're gonna make me deconstruct that as well. God's sake. <laughs> you see what I'm doing for you. Yes! Yes! Oh, wow. That took so long. We did it, though. We made your observatory. That is a cool view. That was totally worth it. Yeah, that was worth it. That's a nice view. Um, so, now we can deconstruct this. Oh, wait, no, what am I doing? God's sake, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'll just... I'll just keep this for you. I'll just make it glass for you. Uh, can't be bothered, to be honest, to try and get it to fix, because that'll take forever. That's why building on land is so ill-advised, because there's no... Well, obviously, there's, like... Underwater, it feels like there's no gravity, because you can just go around your building wherever, upside down, the right way up. It doesn't really matter, but on, on land, you have to kind of apply physics, which is annoying. I'll give you up here, because you can just access it by climbing, can't you? It's not that difficult. I mean, you have to have some good upper upper, upper, upper body arm strength, but shouldn't be too difficult. Right, let's make you a solo farm. Um, fire writers, you wanted two, so we'll make you- Oh, fuck! You have a little um, balcony as well, really, don't you? It's kind of cool. Uh, fire reactor. I wonder what the temperature is up here. Hang on. Ten. Oh. I thought it'd be hotter than that. I mean, it looks like a nice day. It never rains in this game, surprisingly. Uh, so we'll activate them. There you go. So you should get plenty of power. I don't know how much power you have, but it doesn't really make a difference because I'm in creative. I'm going to get rid of this because it's going to annoy me. Um, so I'll put it in the middle. There you go then. So that is your that is your house build then, Max Foos. I hope you're happy with it. That looks pretty cool. I like that. And then you have your 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 farm where you can harvest power even though it doesn't go anywhere. You can still harvest it, which is really cool. So well done for that idea. Um, that's pretty much it, isn't it, really? Um, that's the three builds that I had planned for today. I'm not going to do any more. I've probably been recording for about 45 minutes. That took a while, but it was really, really fun. I want to keep doing this. So, um... To submit your idea, your build, um, if you've already commented on the last one, go and copy it and paste it into the comments of this one. The first three comments will get a place in the building of the next competition, so hopefully if you get there quickly, you should be able to get in the next competition. But obviously if it's one like John Bamford's, then I'll probably delay that until nearer the end of the series, not because I don't like it or anything, it's just because it will take about an episode, I imagine, if not more. Remember, so if you want to submit your idea, put it in the comments below, and if you're in the top, if you're in the first three to comment, then you should get a place guaranteed in the next build, which will be next week. I don't have a specific day, but it should be about next week, or it might be tomorrow. <laughs> it won't be tomorrow. I doubt that very highly. Um, but yeah, so, thank you to you three that uh, submitted your designs. A lot more of you did, but you were the three that I chose to do today. Um, so, please submit your ideas in the comments below, like the video, and as always, just subscribe. So, if you're liking the series of Sub City so far, then give it a like. If you're feeling ready to just subscribe to become a crunchy day, but until next one, I will see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow, my friends. The escape system. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we've actually just been dropped from the Aurora. Oh my, that's so cool.